every business had to do that. We've had to do that here. We invested a ton of money. We hired a person just to build out our processes, build out the technology for us to be able to kind of replace people with technology because we couldn't find the people. So how do we, how did we go about doing that? Businesses now having to make, um, investments that they didn't think they were going to have to make. And one of them is labor and one of them mm. is, uh, materials. And obviously labor is either the lack thereof <laughs> and the prices of labor. And then of course the uh, material shortage <laughs> of materials <laughs> and then the, the cost of materials. Yeah. Um, do, do you want to address that a little bit in businesses and how they're scaling and having to invest in stuff that are more, uh, productivity related versus having to come, you know, bring on labor stuff that will somewhat eliminate the need for labor. <laughs> yeah. So, and in regards to the production end and kind of dealing with supply chain issues is um, that that's kind of really not an area that I work in too much as far as trying to advise clients on, you know, mm -hmm. what are you going to deal with when you have kind of a, kind of a shortage on that end. But I think for, for most, uh, most businesses, they are dealing with a, uh, we talk about supply chain as it relates to uh, to hiring employees, finding good people, and how to go about doing that. Um, and it's something that we struggle with here. I mean, we increased our size of our team 3x last year, and it was a painful process. We tried, mm -hmm. you know, quite a few different strategies. We we hired people to try to help us. We you know tried to to do things internally, and and it was a it was a painful process. Um, so you're going to have to kind of go through that if you're trying to find uh, good people. You may have to, in kind of what you feel in your opinion, is overpay for people. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if that if that necessarily is um, uh, is always necessarily a bad thing um, to uh, um, to do so to kind of uh, maybe it's kind of one of those things now at this point uh, that from a wage end is naturally going to it's naturally going to increase, uh, and we're we're seeing that, um, and we have seen that over this uh, over this past year. But I think going, kind of taking that next step of you're going to have to be very purposeful uh, in that particular process, maybe have to be a little bit more involved in that process than just hiring someone or just kind of leaning on uh, um, uh, kind of a, I'll say we're familiar with lead gen, but kind of going to a place where we're going to try to find leads as it relates to hires to where we're going to be a little more purposeful and maybe reach within our network to try to find to find good people. Uh, and then taking the next step of really um, uh, building out your tech stack. You're really going to have to learn, lean into, uh, lean hard into technology. And uh, as we kind of move forward, that is one area. And if you think about, um, think about a, a fast food restaurant, you kind of go in now. I was reading yesterday on Facebook, uh, they went into a local, uh, into a local, um, actually they're a national chain, um, but uh, into their local uh, coffee shop. And when they, when they went in there, uh, literally you're doing your own ordering on screens, you're you know, mm -hmm. you, you do your order, not even interacting with mm -hmm. anyone. You're paying someone there. And then, you know, the really kind of the only interaction is that person that goes and puts that, that coffee cup on the, uh, on the shelf. Why is that? Well, that company had to learn into learn to lean into technology. Now we, as a consumer may complain about that. Uh, but we also have to realize that we, we kind of created that as well. Um, uh, meaning that your average individual, you know, they don't, maybe they just don't want to do the work, whatever the case may be. So, um, uh, so every business had to do that. We've had to do that here. We invested a ton of money. We hired a person uh, that uh, to come in just to uh, just to build out our processes, to build out the technology uh, for us to be able to kind of replace people with technology because we couldn't find the people. So how do we how did we go about doing that? So for a business owner, they're going to have to look inside of their business. What sort of uh, what in their business can be systemized? Now it is going to take, it is going to take an investment of time. It's going to take an investment of money and, it, and it's painful. Uh, my team will tell you, I mean, sitting down in a conference room and kind of building out these processes, trying to get out of my head, this is how we do things to where we can pass that information on uh, and then uh, make that a process efficient. If you're kind of a visionary or a business owner, that is not, that's not a whole lot of fun, uh, <laughs> but you're, but you're going to have to go through that process. And so, um, so it's something that we regularly do that we, we spent a ton of money last year on technology. Uh, I think we probably spent close to six figures on technology at the firm level last year. Um, and because we knew that I could have taken that hundred thousand dollars and hired people to do the work, but the people just weren't there. So we invested in technology, we built out the processes, and then we trained our existing team on the processes. So like for this last month, we kind of go doing, doing all this compliance with W2s and 1099s and everything else. We built out that entire process. Uh, and then, um, what does that look like? How do we take the information out of the client's books? 
to kind of go through, create a, take that data, uh, massage the data into a, into a spreadsheet, deploy that out to the client. And all that, a lot of this was done via technology. Uh, and, um, and so kind of looking in, inside of your business, what can you do as far as building out your tech stack? What can you, what can you lean on? What sort of technology is out there uh, that you can utilize to help make, uh, make your business more efficient uh, to where you're not going to have to uh, need as many people inside of your business to do the same thing. Oh, that's great. That's great. I, I saw this morning, you know, well, yesterday they did the ADP numbers uh, and showed that there was over 300,000 jobs lost uh, in the month of January. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time this morning, they came out with the uh, productivity numbers. So it, inside of that same month, uh, job productivity went up 6%. So we've lost a bunch of jobs, but the people that are working produce 6% more uh, than they did previously. So uh, businesses have been taking that, those steps to uh, lean on technology to, to do a little bit better. You have people that are also, even though it's a job loss, a lot of that hourly stuff that uh, they count as a, a job loss, it just means they weren't getting paid because they were out sick or whatever. That doesn't mean they're um they quit or they've been laid off they're just temporarily not working yeah. but a lot of people that are working at home are actually uh, can be more productive than in the office um, some people can't obviously there are people that need to have a little more direction when they're by themselves <laughs> let's say sure. uh, those people need to be in an office environment where they have people around them but uh, you can find uh, really good people that uh, can work on their own. It's just, uh, and like you said, it's it's a matter of finding the right, you know, butt for the right seat. Yeah. And it is a painful process. <laughs> and you have to look inside of your business. Uh, during, look back to uh, 2020, a couple of years ago, when, you know, pretty much everything was shut down. Mm -hmm. And uh, our business was looked at as, as an essential business. So we were able to come into the office if we so chose. But I gave my, you know, my team the option. You want to go home or you want to come into the office? And uh, uh, and then you know a couple of them decided to try to, to try to go home and, uh, and and work from home, and it, literally within a couple of days they said you know they were they were texting each other can we come into the office? So when you kind of take a look at this, you know, uh, and, and the and the reason being and, and it may it wasn't because things were awful at home, it's just that you have to look at the culture of your business. Yeah. Um, so a lot of times when you kind of go through and you're looking at um, you're right if you you know the people have to be highly managed whatever the case may be at the and. and, and, and they almost have to be micromanaged to a certain uh, um, uh, to a certain extent. You know, those people are going to need in the office, but um, really have to kind of make sure that you're maintaining your culture, whatever decision you make, as it relates to uh, when you start hiring on uh, virtual people, um, because you can lose ultimately the culture of your business um, by uh, if you kind of go full gung ho on hiring a virtual team, even hiring VAs, that type of thing. Um, uh, yeah, you can grow a business that way, but you can lose, lose your culture in the, in the yeah. process.